Canada's legal system is failing to provide access to justice, or so says Canada's top judge. Beverly McLaughlin, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada, voiced the criticism during a recent speech at the Canadian Bar Association's annual conference. Provincial and federal governments have made cuts to legal aid funds in recent years, emphasizing the need for economic austerity. This decision has led to criticism from legal experts who draw attention to the extortionate cost of engaging in legal disputes in Canada. Such critics suggest that justice cannot be attained unless the proper experts and resources are provided to those who find themselves criminalized. But there's serious access to justice problems because people's rights are being violated and they don't have access to the courts. A good illustration of the impact of cuts to legal aid came in 2009 when the government in the Canadian province of British Columbia reduced the legal aid budget from $96 million to $74 million. This compelled the BC Legal Services Society to close five regional offices and lose 50 members of staff. We have to sit back and ask, you know, look at our society, look at the inequalities in our society and say, we've got to do some serious work. And one of the big areas we have to do that, in which we have to do that work is in the area of access to justice. As well as defunding legal aid programs, the Harper government has embarked upon a lavish project of constructing US style for profit mega prisons, even though crime statistics suggest that crime in Canada is at an all time low. When we introduce a profit motive into the criminal justice system, uh, we are, I think, removing an important pillar of a democracy, and that is that there be a legal system that is publicly funded because it is part and parcel of the social contract. It's part and parcel of the social contract that I, as a citizen, uh, have with my fellow citizens and indeed the government. There have been attempts in the past to have the right to legal aid established as a constitutional right in Canada. But so far, attempts have failed to have this goal realized. This is perhaps why Canada's Chief Justice called for changes in the legal system in the surprising way that she did this week. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.